are you feeling a bit less confident i know i made the video on venus transit in dhanishtha and i said you might get some good news and many of you have written there you already got good news which is great but 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 from 7th march to 26th march mercury will be in the sign of pisces now what the hell is pisces what the hell is mercury and what the hell happens when mercury goes into pisces okay very 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 interesting see mercury is the planet which tells you think with your brain calculate logic rational and Pisces is the sign which tells you, oh, okay, learn to leave things. That's it. <laughs> so now what happens? When a planet wants to know things, wants to do things, wants to get things done, completion, comes to a place where he's been told constantly ah it's okay try your best you know even if it doesn't happen so when mercury enters spices the desire the obsession the logic to take things into completion is challenged so then what happens either one of the two things happen people think mercury in pisces is is a person who is not intelligent no that's not the correct explanation mercury in pisces can make you foolish which is non-intelligence or it can make you overly intellectual beyond limits which is not healthy to to a large extent so you could go to the either extremes because you feel as if uh, i don't need to do anything you know anyways i'm not interested or you may be no 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 i need to do things you know it's not happening this way. It's not happening that way. You know, what, what, what do I need to do? <clears throat> so, therefore, during this period, you may have the tendency for these 19 days that you are either leaving everything to God, sab ram <laughs> or, or you are or you are so much focusing on micromanagement that you want to perfect every aspect of your life. And that's not healthy because you will realize very soon that you can't control everything. You cannot control everybody. You cannot control every desire. So what should you do during this period? Well, it's very important that you understand that you have limitations and you need to work as per your strengths and weaknesses. So if you feel that things are going above your head, you are not able to understand. Then don't worry. You are not alone. We are all in this journey together. But, 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 but. To believe that you can understand everything is also a fallacy. So therefore, when this transit is happening, then we need to do our best and try to leave the rest to God. But then there's a problem here. It's easier said than done. You can say it, but you can't do it. Why? Because... That's how the sign of Pisces makes Mercury. Mer Mercury behaves too obsessively. So therefore, what is very important is to know the pros and cons of your decisions. Pros and cons are very, very, very important, especially in this situation, because this, this can give you a, this, a situation can rise where you may think of only the pros and go ahead and take make a decision or you may not make a decision considering all the cons. So therefore, you need to know what to prioritize. So during this transit, there could be situations in your life, one, two, three, four, five, where you might have to make a decision, where you might be forced to make a decision, okay? But the question is, how will you make that decision? What are the parameters which will help you to finalize and choose that end goal, that end desire? Well, that depends on your priorities. So therefore, if you feel headless, if you feel confused, if you feel demoralized during this transit, then you need to understand that your priorities are not clear. Okay, so therefore, if you face any problem during this transit, Close your eyes, sit down and ask yourself, what is that which I really want in life? 
because life may present you with two, three offers. And then what happens? You are confused which to take. So there for, for example, and this will work depending on the houses that Mercury rules in your chart. So for example, if Mercury is uh, lording your 10th house, then you may get one, two, three job offers. For example, if your Dasha is good, so then you are confused. Which one should I take? Should I take this job, that job? Well, that is because you don't know what you want or what you should because one job may give you a better uh, work-life balance. The other may give you better money. The other may give you a good, good manager. Okay, so you really need to sit and ask yourself at this point of life, you may be in your teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. At this point of time, what is important for you? Okay, is, is is it like only money is important or work-life balance is important or you need a good boss? You will not get everything, but you need to prioritize. So when your priorities are clear, then you will see this tension is getting relieved. Okay, so therefore, if you are feeling excessive anxiety, there is no nausea and all this, then, then there's a problem with your sleep also because the more your sleep is uh, the the worse your sleep is the worse your decisions are okay so therefore please maintain a good sleep schedule and then you will understand that it's not that bad okay so do meditation make notes analyze pros and cons set your priorities right and only then you can actually understand what mercury wants you to do otherwise you will be in a situation where you think you are doing right, but you may end up uh, being in a problematic situation later on. So therefore, ask this question, how do I visualize my life in the future? No, I'm not saying of the typical HR question, which people ask during interviews. Oh, where do you see yourself 10 years from now? I'm not talking of time. How do you envision your life your ideal life to be and depending on that when you visualize that you realize what is your topmost priority so when you prioritize that as number one everything else will fall in place now there could be just not priority one there could be priority two three four five so you need to list down all your priorities not just the number one priority okay then uh, your situation will be much better okay so therefore do your best prioritize and meditate and have a good sleep. Do some uh, anaerobic exercises like, you know, like fast jogging or fast cycling because that will help you to calm down your mind and you will be able to make better decisions, okay? And at the end, of course, you need to check which houses Mercury rules in your chart as per your ascendant and that is where the confusion will be. So as I said, if 10th Lord, then some prioritization for the career is required. Seventh Lord, some prioritization related to marriage is required. Okay. So priority, priority, priority is the word. Thank you so much.